Steve, what type of uh, foliage plant do we have here? Stan, this is a very, very popular plant right now. It's called a ficus lorata, so it's uh, in the genus ficus, and it's commonly called a fiddle leaf fig. It's known as a fiddle leaf fig for its big violin-shaped leaves mm -hmm. that uh, a lot of interior designers are really specifying and using a lot of these throughout the United States. It seems like every movie and TV show that I turn on has one of these in the background somewhere, so it's become lots sort of Lots of commercials, lots of plant, social huh? media. Yes, this is, this is the it plant of 2016. It amazes me that every few years there's another plant that becomes the plant that everyone yes. wants in their shot. And uh, I this can see is it why. Now. But I've always thought this was a beautiful plant and it's so interesting that people can see that, you know, fiddle leaf fig, you can see the yep. fiddle in the leaf and it really, to me, just goes, ah, it's, it's a plant that you want to have because it's a conversation plant. It is a conversation plant. And it's a pretty tough plant. It's a pretty tough plant. Um, light and water, like most plants, that's what you need to water about, uh, worry about. Um, medium to high light. Okay. We've got really nice diffused light in here. It's good for the plant. Um, I can see my shadow when I hold my hand down, so I've probably got enough light for the ficus lorata. Well, it's a beautiful one, and uh, as you say, a nice high light plant, and it's one that, uh, you know, it's going to take what? Moderate water? Moderate, well, it's, it, it can be a heavy drinker if it's in hot, if it's in heat. So, you know, if you're in a really hot spot with a lot of sun, more water. If it's in a little darker, a little cooler place, maybe cut Less back. water. But the important thing is to check your soil moisture. Don't guess. And this one you can check easily because you've got your little, you know, sight lines mm -hmm. and uh, you show everybody how simple it is to check it. And um, now if I do have a problem, if I have a little dust on here, what do I do to get the dust off? This is a really easy plant to clean. Mm. Big leaf, lots of surface. All I need is a little bit of soapy water and a rag. And I'm just wiping that guy off. A little bath. A little bath. Oh, it makes it look right really there. pretty that way too, doesn't it? Yep. So that's all you really need to do to keep the, the leaves on the ficus lorata clean. I think a lot of people would be scared of doing that, but really isn't a problem. Just no, a little bit of water no. and soap. So, I mean, it's, a, it's part of the rubber tree family, so it's very pliable. Yep. I like it. I like it. Nice feel to the leaf. Mm -hmm. Nice shine to the leaf. Mm -hmm. Now, this guy has gotten a little bit too tall for its size, for its spread, so we're going to do a little prune job on this All guy. Right. Let's prune okay. it back and make it uh, more symmetrical, so I guess. So, after you've had it for a while and it might start growing towards the light or growing up and you want to prune it back, the important thing is to prune it right above a node. Okay. Right above where the leaf comes out from the stem. That's the node. The space between the two leaves is the inner node. And I'm going to make a nice cut right there. So it looks to me like you're about an eighth of an inch above that node. Mm -hmm. and as close uh, to it as possible. That's about the width of your fingernail if and you want then, to have a uh, guide at home. I like to do them so that they're not exactly the same height. So it gives you a little bit more character. So I'm going to prune this one down here. Ah, it already looks okay. nice and even now. So now that thing is going to take off and you're going to get new growth from here and new growth from there and it's going to be a nice even presentation. Every time you make that dominant bud break, it's going to have uh, lateral buds will break it, and you'll get more, more sure foliage. Will. Another big benefit to this plant, very, very few problems with bugs or insects. And I love it. I hate yeah. having a lot of bugs and problems. And it's just like having dust on. If you do get a bug on it, wipe it off and you're good to go. That's a marvelous plant.